book, they're going to assign that a negative. Chemistry folks are that bad. Okay, so. What you're basically doing here, mathematic-wise, is you have 1 over 2. You have 0 0.100 molarity per second. And you're solving for negative x. Or you're solving for this one right here. So that's what you're doing mathematically. I'll put this back in. Changing concentration. So then I take half of that. Equals 0 0.05 molarity per second. So B is decreasing at 0 0.05 molarity per second. Okay with that? Mm. Let's do another one. Let's do it in terms of C before we leave. And I'll do some more of these next time, so don't panic yet. Now we know A, can I write A in terms of C? Mm -hmm. So I can say 1 half change in concentration of A over change in time equals 1 over 3 change in concentration of C over change in time. I know this whole term. So 1 half. 0 0.100 molarity per second equals 1 over 3. And I'm solving for the rate or appearance of C. Now, when I mathematically do this, I can do this in my calculator pretty easy, right? How do I, what do I do with this over here? You multiply by 3. And your answer should be, change in concentration of C over change in time is 0 0.15 molarity per second. Alright, it's good enough. Oh, 